Well, hello fellow crafters, Janine here, and today I'm bringing you another sugar-free dessert. This is one of my husband's favorites. It is so easy to make and it is so delicious, you would not know that you are eating something sugar-free. It has a very simple list of ingredients, um, and there's really not a lot of work to it. You can throw it together and uh, a few minutes and within an hour have a dessert that's set up and ready to go. Uh, the first thing that you're going to start with is a, a package of sugar-free cream cookies. Now sometimes I use the chocolate when I can find them, but in this case all I had was the vanilla, but that's fine. It works great. It makes a nice little crust. So all I do is take half the package of the vanilla cream cookies and I pulse them in my food processor until they are a nicely finely ground crumb and I microwave a couple of tablespoons um, of butter for about 30 seconds to a minute until they're nice and melted and to that I add the cookie crumbs and with a fork I just mix those up really well with the, the butter and get the butter um, evenly uh, saturated throughout the cookie crumb mixture and then honestly there's just no way around it you're gonna have to press them down with your hand to get them kind of pushed down really nicely and secure to the bottom of the dish because the next step has a tendency to want to pull the cookie crumbs up so you do want to take the time to do this and press them down and the next step I take a half of eight ounce package of cream treat cheese softened to room temperature and to that I add a half cup of no calorie sweetener this is the Walmart version of Splenda and then I just take my hand mixer and give that a really good thorough mixing get it nice and creamed up and make sure that all of that Splenda is well blended into the cream cheese and then to that I add a half of a container of sugar-free Cool Whip and uh, this is an exact science you can see I just basically scooped out half of that container and then uh, made sure that was thoroughly mixed with the cream cheese mixture and I do like to mix it really well because I like to make sure that that's a nice smooth consistency with no lumps of cream cheese because that just doesn't taste very good and then I just spoon that out over the cookie crust layer and as best as possible just spread it without pulling the cookie crust up. It's, uh, this is probably actually the most difficult part because that cookie crust does want to come up when that cream cheese mixture sticks to it and then you move it around. So all I can tell you is just be patient and take your time and press it down as well as you can. And then you see I didn't even bother to clean the bowl because there's no point. It's all one dessert being mixed together anyway in, 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 a, in a sense. So I just measured out the amount of milk that I needed for um, one small package of sugar-free chocolate pudding. And I think it called for two cups of cold milk and I put mine in the freezer and left it in there too long so I was having a little difficulty getting liquid milk out of the container but I wanted to make sure it was cold because the pudding sets up a lot faster if the milk is really really cold. And then I just took my hand mixer again after mixing the um, and I use the Jello brand uh, chocolate pudding see chocolate fudge it's really really good pudding anyway and uh, so I just take my hand mixer and, and, and make sure that's mixed up really well I think the package directions call for two minutes with a hand mixer and again it's, it's to make sure that everything's blended well and you don't have any weird lumps of stuff of powdered stuff because um, that's not very tasty and the texture of that would be really nice. So I do take the time and blend it thoroughly with my hand mixer. As you can see there, it's nice and smooth. And then I just poured that directly on top of the cream cheese and Cool Whip layer. And then I refrigerated that for, I think, about a half an hour, which I don't think it really needed to be refrigerated quite that long, but I did refrigerate it that long. Again, because spreading things on top of things that move can be a little bit difficult so in order to be able to spread the Cool Whip layer on top of the pudding layer easily it was better that the pudding layer be set up pretty well. So you can see I just put the rest of that container of sugar free Cool Whip directly on top of the pudding and then just spread it around and, and the pudding for the most part staying put because it is set up 
uh, pretty firmly. But that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, the only thing, and this is completely optional depending on if you like this or not, but my husband loves pecans and they're great for a diabetic. So I did go ahead and put a nice sprinkling of pecans on top of that. And that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sugar-free dessert. And please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you have a very blessed day.